Good day and welcome to a new video. Hey all, and I'm here to teach you a little bit about Illustrator. Um, I have CS6, um, but different versions usually don't matter. But you get new tools and things like that, but you can basically do the same thing in CS6 as you can do um, in Creative Cloud. There are, you know, there are always new features, but what I'm about to show you, you probably can do you can do in higher levels and maybe in other lower um, modified softwares um, so we're gonna go ahead and create a new file um, there's a few things here um, we can look at so the few things here is the profile which is basically if you want it for print you want it for web you want it for like your devices and things video and film basic RGB or a flash um, depending on what you're working on you might want to change this um, but standard it's usually on custom or print or something is usually standard um, and then we can start off here with the number of artboards whether we want some if it's something small we're working on or if it's something bigger if you want more artboards and you can select how you want your artboards to be laid out um, so yeah artboards you can create things on artboards you can yep I'm gonna teach you but for now we're just doing an A4 piece and there's some advanced options like color mode CMYK is good for printing RGB is good for screen uh, raster effects your high definition 300 PPI um, for screen just 72 depending if you want to put it in 72 that would be something to save you some space um, megabyte space or um, things like that but I usually just go for the high just in case I do want to print it and get things out there um, and then the preview mold is default so you can have it on pixel or over print um, I'm not too hundred percent sure about these. I know that old print will probably be like what it looks like printed, um, and pixels as in like a Photoshop view or something like that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and create this file, and then a clean A4 page. Um, the things I will cover today um, will just be how to create something uh, with the pen tool. So you have a bunch of tools around here. Um, you know on the toolbar side and you can lay out how you want your tools um, for now that's not something you don't really need um, to know something you learn later of how you want things laid out um, and if some reason these disappear um, you've got all these windows options um, where you can have things like info you m info might come useful and handy um, so info popped up popped up on my other screen but there you go um, basic info um, so you, you can see that is the points these are the points of where my mouse is on the page um, so that can be quite useful in your navigator is like in Photoshop you can navigate around um, but these are just cool handy tools um, so we start with a pen tool. Um, pen tool is you click, and you can click again if you want a round to make a straight line. To make a rounded, you can click and hold, and you go curvy, up, down, and you want to click into it again, and just keep keep on going and we can make a basic shape so control Z I use twice um, to undo what I'm doing um, so we're gonna make say um, a funny looking guy I don't know he's gonna be like a dinosaur or something um, what I do is ten, if you want things different colors you have to break things up in shapes um, to have things different colors 
So we're just going to do this funny little guy just to demonstrate how this tool works. Um, and there you have a closed shape. See, I closed it by making sure this point and this point are joined. And voila, you have a shape. Um, there's another way to make shapes. There are shapes all here. You can make star shapes if you want. Um, we're going to make star shape for his eye. Um, and then you can go ahead and fill. Um, now we can... Things are on layers. Um, so if we go... If we go to window... Um, sometimes this may be open. Default may be open. Sometimes it's not. Um, but you'll see a layers panel, which is here, this one here. Um, see, I've set these ones to um, set up the way I like it. Um, but you can set this anywhere you like, um, like right there, or doesn't matter. But uh, you do have your layers panel, and here you can have things on top of each other change the direction so if you put this um, so if you right click arrange bring to front it will take what was now what is in front of it has been moved behind it because we have brought this object to the front where if we arrange center back we have now sent this object to the back but now this one is in front as you can see in the layers panel this one is in front of this one to make this a little bit more clear I'll go and do a line whoops line tool sorry you can draw a line if you need a straight line you can use the line tool um, also you can use a brush if you show a wish um, and you can fill that Oh, I think you can edit that. Yeah, you can edit that to make it a closed shape if you need to. Um, to close this up, um, you can uh, join those parts by shift and clicking these parts, the two vector points you can join them. Um, so a path in here is made out of all these vectors, um, vector points, um, which you can, if you need to restart for some reason, you can delete them and re-add them by clicking um, them again. You can edit them whether you need to move them or if you want their point not to be sharp you can um, tweak them so they look more um, friendly as well there's those options um, uh, let me see I'll give them some teeth um, so these are just the basics of Illustrator um, and see now we have more to deal with on the layers so there are things uh, we can do to make it less complicated um, so say we want this behind him he's holding a stick or something I might go ahead see if I hold shift to some an object while I'm scaling it will scale it right um, so say it's a, this dinosaur with a stick I can f go ahead and fill the shape so I made that an object um, but see if I wanted this stick I want to bring it to front but you can do the same here you can move this object above that if you need to and all these um, you can create new layers as well um, for instance you might want to put your character on one layer and then background 
send that to the back um, on another layer um, because then you can have a nice background or something um, so yeah this this is just the basics um, I hope you learnt something today um, there's also cool things you can do um, I'll teach you one more thing before I go is that um, so I'll make a new layer and in this layer I am going to so I will place an image so file place um, I will do this gun cow and that's how you place an image um, so you can hold shift and scale it down and this is my drawing that I did um, so it's this gun cow um, creature that I created and now um, it's in its own layer um, so what I can do is I can either make a new layer and um, have this layer locked so it's not movable and I can just pretty much trace around it um, for what I'm going now here it started off green so you can change this to have it black and um, also have no fill this is no fill right here um, and just go back and continue um, around this is pretty basic stuff um, so hopefully by now you should know how to do this stuff um, please comment if you don't or if this wasn't helpful at all um, it might be you might have to watch this video a few times or something like that or check out some more tutorials and things like that and just have a wee play around of things um, so you want to go ahead and save or save as um, if you do want to save this as an image um, to upload online you can go up and save for web and there you can save as whatever you want a jpeg, pngs, a gif file um, so you can share your progress with your mates or you can save progress or just you know whatever you want um, cool thank you for joining me um, this has been great great hopefully you learnt something cool bye